another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Good day and welcome to my quick little tutorial on how to install the reshade preset for Dark Souls Remastered. This is for my one, the graphics mod list. Of course, obviously. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to download the reshade preset first. Let's go to either the high bloom version or the low bloom. They're both the same. That one stuff looks more glowier, like reflections, fire, etc. This one, it's not so much. Anyway, after that, you want to download reshade. So we'll just go ahead and open that in a new tab. And just click on the purple download button. And then download reshade. Latest version, which is 6.0.1 at the moment. I've already downloaded that, so. Yep. And then you want to go to your download location, which is my downloads folder. And you're going to grab the reshade preset that you just downloaded. Open up your install folder for Dark Souls. Mine's in Steam, so it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls Remastered. You can see the EXE right there. Because that's what this is going to hook onto. So, just take all of that that you just downloaded, the Bin Chickens Reshade and extract it into the install folder. And then, while I'm at it, we'll do this one, because this is the one that you need it for. But it's good to have the latest version installed anyway. So now we got the low bloom there, and the, the high bloom, sorry, version, and then the low bloom. Let's go ahead and close that. Go back to your downloads folder and you want to run the reshade setup. It's gonna find all your games and it should be right there. If you don't see it in this list, just go to browse down the bottom right corner here and then you want to go to your install folder, mine's in E drive, and then Steam, Steam apps, common, Dark Souls remastered. And then select the application, the EXE, and press open. And just go next in the bottom right corner. You want to select DirectX version 10, 11, 12. And go next. And then go update, reshade, and effects. Then go next. Now down the bottom here, you can see this bit. Choose a preset file, dot any, to install only the effects it uses. If you install everything, it's it's going to take a while when you load the game up. Then just go browse. And you want to go back to your install folder. Which is Steam, Steam Apps. Common Dark Souls Remastered. And then, that's the preset right there. So we'll choose the low bloom. 
Actually, we'll go with that one. So that one's already in, already in the uh, zip file. So any old ones, it'll get updated. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Just uh, ignore that. Okay, so now it's selected down here. Just go next. And now it's installing all the effects and it's done. Just like that. Go finish. So we can go ahead and close those. Close those. I'll just make uh, make this full screen. Where are we? Or just go reset. Fit to screen. And we'll launch Dark Souls Remastered. Why is that not coming up full screen? That's even worse. Ah, <sighs> we'll fix that. It's all good. There we go. So, then you want to go and press the home key on your keyboard. And it'll bring the screen up. So then what you want to do is just click on performance mode. And you can see it here, bin chickens. That's the preset it's using. So if you click there, that's the install folder for Dark Souls Remastered. So if you want to use the low bloom version, you can change it. Just go choose that, select there, low bloom. And then change it back again. Just go back down to binchickens.any, select. Now it's the high bloom. And then just go ahead and press home button to close that again. And that's it. All right. Thanks for watching.